A fire inside a vacant house on the east side has left a big question mark in the minds of some people. Neighbors and firefighters both wondering how it got started. It broke out overnight in the 200 block of Paul Street. That's not too far from St. Gerald High School. As Katrina Weber reports, damage from this fire may cause setbacks in someone's renovation plans. Fire moved in unexpectedly to a house that had nothing that would have made it a home. There were no furnishings or working electricity. Still, when firefighters arrived after 3.30 this morning, the flames and smoke had made themselves at home on the second level, burning right through the floor. I'm going to say a hole about the size of a basketball um, burned through it with charring around it into the wood. That unusual burn pattern caused them to call in an arson team. Firefighters say the house in the 200 block of Paul Street was empty, although it looked like someone had plans to make it livable again. There are some construction type materials in there, such as a ladder, stuff like that, uh, but not, nobody is living there. While firefighters say it looks like this house was undergoing renovations, a neighbor told me she hasn't seen anyone working here since last summer, and she wonders if someone else may have been inside. That neighbor told me off camera she heard noises, almost like someone tossing items inside the house shortly before she noticed the flames. It was enough to get her attention and make her call 911. It doesn't appear like it was a squatter issue, but that's something that uh, arson will determine. Firefighters say they did notice an open door when they got here, but they weren't sure right away if police who arrived before them were responsible or if that could be another clue linked to the fire. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.